This conference will now be recorded. Hi everyone, welcome to AWS training program. And today's class is about ELB, Elastic Load Balancer. So load balancer plays very important role in uh, in any application because you know there can be like uh, thousands or millions of requests coming from the user and one server may not be able to handle that particular load so in front of any application there should be a load balancer which is capable of distributing your load among multiple uh, servers and from a user point of view a user never knows like which particular server my service was uh, completed by right because it's completely transparent to the user but that's only for our internal distribution of the load so what is load balancing service in aws and uh, what type of load balancer we have what are other aspects related to load balancer all these things will be uh, talking in today's class so let's start the class with the agenda overview of elb service type of load balancers network load balancer application load balancer load balancer health status ec2 launch template auto scaling groups and auto scaling policies so this is the agenda and let's start with the overview so elb is like a, a service provided by aws and it distributes workloads across multiple compute resources we are using very generic term like compute resources that can be ec2 instance that can be uh, ecs resources some container service that can be lambda any service in aws which is capable of computing which can process your data which can compute something right so it distributes the load among them it increases the availability and the fault tolerance of your application it's not only not always about like distributing the load among multiple machines sometime it may be possible that there are two uh, servers one is like primary server and another one is like uh, standby server right in case your primary server is down it is not capable of handling any user's request in that case the elb the load balancer can quickly redirect your request to the standby server so we are not distributing the load we are not uh, sending the request to multiple server at one point of time only one server will take care of that either the primary or the second so this load balancer will increase the availability of your service and the fault tolerance that means if there is any fault is there any uh, downtime user should not get affected it should redirect to some alternate server to some secondary server and user's request is fulfilled user does not know whether the primary server or the standby server fulfilled his or her request that's the ultimate purpose of uh, having a load balancer you can add or remove compute resources from your load balancer as per your need suppose today you have three servers and all are equally capable your uh, requests are coming and your load balancer is equally distributing your load among three systems but you may be thinking that now some uh, big billion day is coming some big sale is coming and you are expecting very huge uh, transactions on that day but only for that day not like you don't want to uh, add additional cost to your company only for those few days you would like to have two more servers instead of three let's have total five only for that big million sale for suppose one week or there can be the reverse scenario like uh, suppose your sale is over now and you don't need like three system now you are saying we are okay with two why two unnecessary pay for three servers or five servers right you can remove as well independent of uh, like a user's request and independent of load balancer if there are two load balancer will balancer will distribute your load among two if there are five server it will distribute among five servers so adding and removing compute resources can be done at any point of time the next is you can configure health checks that's very important because i was giving an example right that 
one server is down in that case your uh, load balancer will redirect your request to a secondary server but how does load balancer knows that particular server is down it is completely based upon health check you can define some health check mechanism and your load balancer will keep on checking health after a periodic interval so that your uh, load balancer always knows which one is a healthy uh, healthy target and which one is unhealthy target so it will always redirect your request to a healthy server only so all these things we can perform we can do and in upcoming slides and when we will do it uh, like uh, on aws console i will show you how to set up this health checks and all these things so this is very basic overview of load balancer we are moving ahead and let's talk about other uh, things so you can see this one this is just an example you can see that users want access to some same website there are many users and they are trying to hit a uh, you can say website instead of directly hitting some ec2 instance because you can host a website on ec2 instance instead of directly hitting there is a load balancer in place you see that elb elastic load balancer this load balancer will distribute your load among multiple ec2 instance you can see this one after the traffic distribution so load balancer has almost like equally distribute the traffic now two users request is going to first ec2 instance another two are going to the second one and the rest of the two are going to the third one this is just for an example it's not like always like it divide by three or something there are diff different type of routing is possible but on on uh, on a very you can say high note you can say that the purpose of load balancer is equally distribute the load among multiple systems okay let's move to the next slide and we'll talk about type of load balancer aws provides a variety of load balancers the most common are application load balancer and network load balancer this gateway load balancer is recently added because i am working on aws project from last few years and we never used that and it was not even appearing in the list earlier but now from last one month i am seeing that they have added one more and this this has altogether different like uh, different use case that may not be applicable to everyone you see this one uh, this is used to manage a fleet of third party virtual appliances that support gen eve so this is not in much use as of now for our training purpose we will be talking about these two application load balancer and network load balancer let's read, read this out because this is completely aws documentation and i would tell you aws documentation is best when you are searching for something some aws product on uh, google the very first link you will get is like aws documentation that would be complete from every perspective so let's read this and we'll come to know about application and network load balancer so before that um, just want you have any doubt till now no need sir okay that's good so application load balancer as the name indicates it is at it it works at application level it's not blindly like uh, just distributing your request no it has many more features let's check it out so choose an application load balancer when you need a flexible feature set for your application with http and https traffic operating at the request level it is capable of reading the request from the user and application load balancer provide advanced routing and visibility feature targeted at application architecture including microservices and containers okay you don't need to remember this definition i will tell you application load balancer is capable of analyzing your request let's take an example suppose your url contains suppose you want to uh, i would say uh, buy something right so that can be buying from amazon website is one activity there can be something else like refund that can be another activity 
third one can be like just browsing right that can be third activity so your application load balancer is capable of analyzing the url analyzing the request from the user and accordingly it can redirect your request to a different server that means it's not just like uh, as we were seeing in the previous example that six request came and just like it did two 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 it's not like that it is it can do much more on that maybe one particular server is expert or you can say it is configured in such a way that it can handle your uh, you can say your checkout activities you have few items in your shopping cart and now you want to check out now you want to complete your uh, transaction right those type of requests will go to one server if your request is about refund it will go to another one if it is just a product catalog right some one of your friends just forwarded a link to you that is just a link of it is just uh, displaying the description and all the specification of a mobile phone right that can be altogether different type of request so it can operate at a request level accordingly it can redirect your request on the other side if we talk about network load balancer it is not doing all these things it's like simply distribution of the uh, you can say uh, users request to among multiple servers let's check it out 